Introducing FaceOff, the ultimate all-in-one face swap tool. With FaceOff, you can swap faces in pictures, GIFs, videos, and even entire batch folders, all faster and more accurately than ever before. What makes FaceOff truly powerful is its built-in enhancement system. You can fine-tune restoration, sharpening, detail level, and face enhancement using easy-to-use slider controls to get the perfect result. Previously, I uploaded a full video on how to install FaceOff locally on your PC, so if you missed that, the link is available in the description, make sure to check it out. Now the great news. FaceOff is available on Google Collab. No installation, no configuration, no GPU needed, just open the notebook, run the cells, and start swapping faces instantly. If you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss updates on powerful AI tools like this. Please watch the full video for the complete guide, and don't forget to drop a like, it really supports the channel. Alright, let's jump right into it and see how to run FaceOff on Google Collab step by step. Click on GitHub link in my description to download FaceOff Notebook for Google Collab. Click on FaceOff Notebook and download it. After downloading go to main page of Google Collab and create new notebook and upload notebook you downloaded. After notebook loaded click on runtime and choose T4 GPU if you got pro Google Collab choose higher GPU and save settings. Click on connect to connect with runtime. After connected run clone cell then requirement cell. After it's done don't restart click cancel then run FFmpeg cell. Now run all three models cell one by one.
run fix error cell then run main cell. When you see Gradio URL click on it Faceoff will launch in your web browser. To use this upload face picture and wait until it detect face. Upload target picture. Choose face enhancer and frame enhancer with slider adjust how much you want to apply. Click run swap to swap face of picture. Using face off you can swap face of multi peoples. Their instructions how to do it. Same way you can use GIFs and videos option, longer high resolution videos might need more RAM. And your runtime might crash. I hope you like this video. If you got any question or request comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.